All right, so today I wanted to talk about a video. This was sent into my Discord. This was actually sent in um, a few a few days ago, so I missed it right away. And actually, this video is quite, it's been out for a while, so it's not like a brand new video or anything like that. Uh, so this video is titled, What the Internet Gets Wrong About Body Positivity. It says it right there. And this is by Sierra Schultz, Schultz I think is her name. Uh, so I don't know. I haven't seen this video at all. I haven't watched literally any of it. So I'm kind of curious to, to hear what she believes the internet gets wrong, um, you know, about body positivity. I'm going to move myself down here because that's where I like to be. Um, let's check this out supposed to be a different video. Today I was going to do a review of anthropology, but the package got lost in the mail and I was trying to think what I should do today instead. And I realized that the last time I did a Q&A was in 2018. Oh, okay. So this is going to be a Q&A video. Uh, so I need, I don't really want to watch all this random stuff that she's, where, like, I just want to watch when she's talking about body positivity. <laughs> is there a threshold, like a certain weight where body positivity no longer applies? Okay, so I'm just going to break this down. This might be kind of a long rant because I feel like this is something that so many people just get wrong about body positivity. So first... You cannot tell someone's health by looking at them. You don't know what's going on inside someone's body just by looking at their aesthetics. Okay. So, I agree with that for the most part. I think that you can be perfectly healthy and, you know, be slightly overweight. I think you can be perfectly healthy and be slightly underweight. But, again, I've said this many times. When we, we look at the extreme extremes of the spectrum whether that's very 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 thin or very 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 overweight uh, I don't think that you can be healthy at those sizes and now when I say that I'm always like oh but you know my lab results are this and that okay that's fine you might your lab results right now might be fine but let's talk about in the future in 10 years 20 years okay and let's not just talk about lab results because, again, when people talk about health at every size, they always speak about how it's not just about, uh, you know, health is more than just lab results and weight. And I agree. Health is more than just that. It's how well can you move in the world? How do your joints feel? How, um, how, 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 how hard is it for you to get out of a chair? How, how difficult are, are those very simple things, right? Are you able to stand up for two hours? on your own without being in unbelievable pain, right? Those things are also part of health. And I, I can almost guarantee you that if you're looking at someone that is 400 plus pounds, uh, standing for a long period of time is very difficult and it's not a way that the people want to live. And so again, for the most part, I do think that you cannot look at someone and, and determine what their health is for the most part. But again, when we're looking at the extreme sides of the spectrum, that's where I think that that argument falls apart. There are thin people who can be drastically unhealthy and out of shape cardiovascularly. And there are fat people who can be perfectly healthy and fit and who could run circles around you. But someone's weight and health is not your business anyways. Like just stay in your lane, mind your own damn business. Worry about yourself, I'll worry about me. They'll worry about them, I'm sorry. I'm, I don't want this to be heated, but this kind of stuff just gets me fired up now i agree with that like you don't need to go around becoming the health police and and commenting on every post and trying to uh you know like oh you're unhealthy i hope you understand that like that i i promise you anyone that is uh you know really overweight probably understands that they don't need you going around and, and telling them that and so i would agree with that like you know focus on yourself you don't need to go around and and try and, uh, you know, prove to other people that they are unhealthy. I don't think that that's really helpful. You can't tell by looking at someone what is going on inside their body. You don't know what conversations they're having with their doctors, and you don't know what their lifestyle is. And I'll go ahead and say, every time I have been body shamed in person by someone in my real life, it has been about aesthetic, and it has never been about health. It's been, you look so much more beautiful on your wedding day if you lost weight, or think about how happy you'd be if you could wear a bikini this summer. It's body positivity is saying, actually, no, I don't value myself like that. My life's purpose is not just to constantly try to be thinner and thinner and lose weight and continue that cycle of just hating myself for the way I look. And for people who still say that body positivity is bad because it encourages an unhealthy lifestyle, let's talk about that real quick. It has been proven that body shaming people. So, this is interesting. Like, a lot of this is. I, I don't know. I believe a lot of this is just kind of common sense stuff. Like, I think that the the saying of most people that, you know, say that m m she might be talking about someone like me that talks about this stuff, right? Like, 
most people that talk about health don't actually care. Like for me, I, I really like I I don't care. Like I'm not sitting here saying this stuff because I want women to fit into a certain ideal body. Like that's not why I talk about this stuff. So I don't think that everyone um, everyone believes that. But I'm kind of curious. I mean, again, most of the stuff that she was saying that I agree with, I don't disagree. So I'm curious to see what she's about to say here. Does not actually work in motivating someone to lose weight or work out or get healthier. But do you know what does work? When people love themselves and value themselves and want to be fitter or healthier or stronger because they have that love for themselves. You cannot make someone want to be healthier. You cannot make someone want to work out. It doesn't work. Bond shaming does not make people want to lose weight. It just makes them hate themselves. I would I would agree with that too. Like I mean I've said I've said stuff like this very, very frequently, right? Like I wish I was able to give people the, you know, whatever click moment that I had to where you're like, you are fully one hundred percent. Like, I want to change. I want to make, um, you know, I want to make better decisions for my health. I want to do all of these things. But until someone gets there, like, it doesn't matter what I say. It doesn't matter what this other person says. It doesn't matter what your mom says. It doesn't matter what, you know, like, if you're not fully there, it just, it just, it's not going to work. And so that's, it, it is, it's one of the most frustrating questions I get is when people ask me, like, how do I, like I, you know, my mom is X amount of overweight, my dad, my brother, my sister, how do I motivate them to lose weight? And it's like, sadly, like there's nothing you can do, maybe be a good example, but like other than that, you can't, you can't force someone. You just, you really can't. And so that's why, I mean, I've said so many times, like, body shaming and like calling people fat because you think that it's going to help them lose weight for the vast majority of people. It's not going to help. You know, there's always a couple people in here whenever I say that, like, well, you know, I was motivated by tough love, blah, blah, blah. And maybe you were, but again, the vast majority of people, that's not going to help them. So if your real goal is to help people, you know, lose weight or be healthy and maintain healthy lives and, uh, and understand that they can do it. I think there are better ways than just shouting at someone and trying to make them lose weight. I, I really, don't think that, that is a super helpful uh, way to go about it. So congrats. If you're body shaming people, you're not actually motivating them. You're just making them also hate themselves now. Okay, but the one thing I do want to say, and this is important, is uh, body shaming gets thrown around a lot. And I think that it's, it's gotten to a point now where if you at all talk about, you know, the ill effects of being severely overweight for a long period of time, that is now being like construed as like fat phobic or body shaming. And I think that that is different when you're talking about those things, right? When I, I've made videos where, or even like, like I think a lot of these things that she is saying, I agree with, but it's, it's what people think body shaming is, right? Like I've been, I've been called a body shamer by posting a before and after picture, right? I've been called a body shamer by showing, oh, I used to fit into this shirt. Now I don't anymore. And so I think that, Again, while I agree with what she's saying, I think that there are a lot of people that are taking what she's saying and pushing it a little bit further to where it's like, so am I allowed to do anything at all with weight loss or talk about it at all without being considered body shaming or fat phobic? And that's where the uh, that's where the issues, I think, really lie. Um, it's it's not as as far as like, you know, people. You, yes, you shouldn't go around body shaming people and being like walking around and being like, you're disgusting. You're gross. You're going to die soon. But at the same time, if I'm posting a picture of myself that's a before and after, is that body shaming someone else? And I would say I don't think that it is. People say, oh, but I just want them to be healthy. But you don't. Because you know what happens when brands like Nike introduce plus-size fitness lines or use plus-size models in fitness advertising or bigger people talk about going to the gym or eating healthy? They get shamed, not encouraged. Body positivity is not about giving up on yourself. That is a complete straw man. No one actually thinks that. Body positivity is about valuing yourself and loving yourself as you are. Not waiting to do things until you're a certain size. Not making your entire life's purpose just to lose weight. Saying no to crash diets and eight-week transformation workout programs. And valuing happiness and health over aesthetics. Now, man, so she kind of glossed over the whole Nike thing. But, man, I remember when that... I remember when that was going on, right? I made a video about it and I still, man, when I think about it, it kind of gets me heated. Like the the same people that are are doing exactly what she's talking about, that are going up to people being like, you need to be healthy. You need to work on your health. Like health is the most important thing. Were the same people that were super mad that Nike showed a mannequin that was overweight in their stores and like, sh and that made bigger, like plus, uh, plus sized um, active wear. And I was just like, how do you not see the disconnect in saying we should work on our health, we should do these things, and but then the people that might need activewear to work on their health or go to the gym or whatever are now 
there there this mannequin is getting shamed and made <laughs> shamed it's a mannequin but like the the even the idea of this mannequin was getting you know just bombarded with a bunch of negativity because people are saying oh we shouldn't we shouldn't show this stuff to other people it's like dude like there are people that are overweight that are going to be trying to lose weight that would like to wear nike or would like to wear some good active wear and now they're ma being made to feel like they don't belong there either. That stuff's so frustrating. I've talked about it before. Like when you see people making fun of bigger people at the gym, like that's something I'll never stand for. It literally is so counterintuitive and it it doesn't serve any purpose other than trying to make you feel better because, oh, I'm more fit than this person. Therefore, I am more valuable or I have more worth. Like, oh, that stuff, man. I don't want to talk about it too long, but I do not like that stuff at all. It's saying I love myself and my body the way it is. I do not need to strive for aesthetic changes to be happy. My body is my home and I will treat it with kindness. But no, there is no health limit or weight limit on body positivity. Because what someone weighs or what they choose to eat or how they choose to move their body is none of my damn business and none of anyone's business. And if someone is unhealthy, are they all of a sudden not worthy of respect and dignity? They're now, it's interesting that the way this question was framed was, is there any, like, basically, am I, can you be too skinny to be body positive? And while I would agree with it, everything she's saying, there are a lot of people in the body positive community that would completely disagree with what she's saying, right? And that is a, another huge thing where it's like, if I, you're, like we, we've talked about it before, right? The, 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 a lot of the women that are, you know, aren't big enough uh, are being shamed or being told they can't use the hashtag body positivity because they're able to contort their body in a way or they're able to put on clothes to where those problem areas are gone. But other people that are bigger aren't able to do that. So there are there literally are people in the body positive community that would very much so disagree with what she just said. And I personally think that's ridiculous. Like the the name of the the name of the movement is body positivity. <laughs> But there are people in there that are like, no, you're not allowed to be body positive because you're literally not heavy enough. Like, that is an argument that you see. And I disagree with that as well. And I would hope that she would as well. There is no weight limit on respect. All people, regardless of what they look like or what they weigh or what size they are, are worthy of respect. And when people love themselves, they tend to take care of themselves better physically and mentally. I agree with that. Again, like I've said, I've said this many times as well. Like, um, for me, weight loss came from a place of self-love. Now, were there things like, did I hate that I was overweight? Yes. Like I hated that I let myself get to that point, but there's a difference between hating a part of yourself, at least I believe, and hating yourself, right? Like I hated that I was overweight, but I still loved myself. So because I loved myself, I loved myself enough to want to actually change. Right. And that, I think that that's really important because I think for me personally, like because I, it what came from a place of self-love, like I didn't try and do anything like super crazy that was like way over the top. That was super unhealthy because, again, it was coming from a place that I was like, I, I love myself and I want to stick around for the longest amount of time as possible. Right. And so I don't know. That's something that I agree with as well. One more thing I want to add, losing weight doesn't fix insecurities. That's a mental block that you have to work through. I tend to not read hate comments, but I did see one a couple days ago that was like, well, if you're so insecure about X, why don't you just lose weight? So let me just say, when I was at my thinnest, I was also my most miserable. I was more insecure than ever. I would say no to beach dates and pool days because I could not stomach the thought of myself in a swimsuit. I would go through cycles of binging and then crash dieting to punish myself for what I had ate or what I hadn't done. But I looked healthy. I was not healthy mentally or physically. And that's because I thought that all those insecurities would be fixed by just losing weight as quick as possible. I didn't do any mental work. I didn't focus on health instead of numbers. Now, it's interesting because, so this, this is a very a telling part of the video, I think, because uh, she obviously explains like when she was at her her thinnest, right, by her own words, uh, she was not happy. And I think a big part of that is because of the way that she got there, right, through binging, restriction, uh, crash diets and stuff like this, right? And so I think that that is a big reason why she probably believes what she believes. And I think that's totally fine. If that's what she wants to believe, like I, I'm not here to try and change her mind. Uh, but I think that it is really important, and like I'm, I'm really glad that she said that right at the end because that 1,000% almost, almost explains everything as to why she believes what she believes. Because the only time in her life, I'm assuming, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but like one of the only times in her life where she was thin and trim, uh, it wasn't healthy for her, right? And so for me, like if I, if my only if my only time ever being thin was when I did my physique show and I got as lean as possible, 
Like, that wasn't healthy either. And if that's the only thing I associated with being skinny, then I would think to myself, oh, being skinny is not healthy. Or, like, getting to that point wasn't healthy, and that's not best for me. But I have found a way to where I can eat in a way that isn't super restrictive at all. I eat, I, I literally just ate a bunch of chips right before this live stream. Right? I, 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 was, I was able to find a way and, and, and put my life in a way to where I can eat, I can enjoy life, I don't have to be too stressed – but I can also not, you know, put on excess weight. And so I think that that's a big reason why she believes that it's like you can only like she really I think she really does think that like losing weight is only through over restriction and unhealthy. And um, so that really does explain a lot of probably why she believes that. <laughs> Obey the warning signs, and when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop.